Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Pup 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 Peep Show! Oh! Fish on! We got a fish, great! So, we are now in Snapshot 13W37B. Some, uh, some bug fixes. Some structural bug fixes and whatnot. Mainly portals, which we're going to check out today. Um, so we're not catching fish at a good rate right now. We caught the one, but it's kind of slow, right? Not a lot going on. So, here's something we can do. Hello. Let's throw an enchant on this baby. Lure two. Beautiful, beautiful. So now, we've got a nice level two lure on there. Can get better, a better chance of catching a fishies. Or catching anything else, for that matter. Um... So this is a new thing with the with the fishing. And if you look closely when you're fishing, there's these little splash. There's one right there. There's these little splash effects around. And let's see if we can get something coming up here in a moment. And we're not seeing... There we go! Did you see the particles? Let's try to get it, get it closer here. There will be a... There we go. Did you see those bubbles? There's these bubbles that come closer and closer and closer. It's so cool. Closer and closer and closer to your lure. So you know when uh, a fish is about to bite. You can see the bubbles. There we go. Oh, what we get? We got tripwire hook. <laughs> so there's three categories. There's treasure, junk, and food or fish yeah treasure junk and fish let's say a tripwire hook they consider that to be under the junk category treasure uh you get some good things i'm not going to tell you everything that you can get out of all this stuff but one of the great things you can get under treasure is it an enchanted book we got to have a bite soon aha we got a salmon whoops uh an enchanted book whoa that's kind of floating in the sky. <laughs> I think if you fish clo too close to you, it's going to float in the sky like that. But I think you can still catch something. Oh, my sounds. I forgot. Uh, let's just turn the master down and turn the music all the way down. And don't, don't tell me there's no nighttime song. Oh, whoops, never mind. There's not. <laughs> all right. So, this is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, I'm in creative mode. Today is a creative mode day because we've got a lot of stuff to check out. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's get rid of several things. We're, we're going to be super, super cheaty, cheaty today. Uh, we want some room in our inventory. Let's plant all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go away now. Okay? I'm too honest. I'm too honest for my own good, aren't I? Okay, and let's do this. So, we get an anvil up in the house. How you doing, anvil? Mm-hmm. Sit right there. Good boy. All right. Grab a fishing rod. Let's throw these away. Throw that raw salmon away. You can cook both of those. But let's go find some books. Lure three. I put you on. Get on my thing. Mm-hmm. And that's only nine levels to do that. Look at the sea. 14 levels. So now we have a chance of getting more treasure. Luck, luck of the sea. Those are the two enchants you can get for fishing. Luck of the sea helps you get better stuff quicker. Oh, fish coming right now. Get it, baby. What did I get? Nothing. I, I maybe reeled it in too quick. More treasure with Luck of the Sea. Lure 3, you can get stuff faster. So this is great. I love what they've done, changed, how they've changed things up here. Uh, it's very cool. So let's just do a little bit more fishing. Not much more. Here comes one. Fish on! Got a regular fish. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more. Come on. It's pretty fun. 
Uh, it doesn't make for the best video. But uh, off camera, honestly, to enjoy the game, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go off. I'm going to make myself a little fishing area and a dock and stuff. And I'm just going to fish a little bit. It's definitely fun. Knowing that you could potentially get a great book. Um, some of the books are pretty crazy right now. People have shown me some books that they've got. Here comes one. Gotcha! Uh, people are getting like knockback 2, efficiency 3, unbreaking 2, fire aspect, punch, <laughs> like all on one book. Um, so I don't know if they're going to change that or not. Boy, just getting all fish. What about my luck of the sea? You ever heard of that? I'd love to get an enchanted book here. But you can get name tags too. That's pretty cool. Um, some good stuff. So this fishing is cool. Uh, it's something that... Why, why did I not show you guys this a while ago? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get one more fish. This is it. I'm done. It's so addicting though. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're, we're done. We're done. Okay? Now, there's also been this added to the game. Let me show you. We're flying now. Watch me. Watch me. Watch the ground. You see that? That par particle animation. Pew! And I think from the, f the higher you fall, the more... Yeah! The more particles there are. That is a small addition. Yeah, that's so cool. A very small addition that uh, is very cool to the game. Let's fall from very, very high up in the sky. That's awesome. And the particles like actually hit other blocks. They hit, yeah, they hit the other blocks and stop. It's so cool. We're going to say, um, game rule, watch me be smart, do daylight cycle false. Look at me be smart, game rule been updated, time set 2500, it's just going to stay there now forever, Never. sun's never going to move, because we got some stuff to do today, okay, there's some other things, <sighs> like Daffy Duck right now. I just said there's some other things. <laughs> Alright, so this. Whoops. Uh, let's go back to game mode zero. Let's get this. There are some new dies that you can get from the peon pay peony. Peony. You can get pink dye. Get eight news. Uh, let's see, can you get red from the rose? You can! Can you still get red from a poppy? Only one, so you get two. Okay, okay, okay. Do your thing. What about this? Light gray from the azure blue. Okay. Um, how about a lilac? What you give me, baby? Magenta? Yes, you do. Great, get on the ground. Aha! Orange tulip? You give me orange dye? Yeah, you do! Get back on the ground. Right there. there you go. Um, so these flowers give new dyes, which is great. Um, there are light blue flowers in the swamp. Let's get them. Let's get them and do it. Okay. Let's get them and do it. This guy? He do... I'll tell you what. Give me this. I'll do it right here. Light blue, very good. Um, what else? All of these tulips give, what about the daisy? I don't think the daisy gives you anything. Light gray again, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Alluvium, I don't think we've seen one of these. Maybe we have magenta again. So some of these are, are kind of the same. Um, red tulip, I imagine would give you red dye. Whoops. So yeah. These new flowers give you dyes. I don't think every dye in the game is off of these flowers, but it's something. So that's cool. Very cool. 
Uh, something else people wanted me to check, uh, and I don't know if this is going to be biome dependent, but people were saying, what about maybe you try to bone meal some cactus? See if something happens there. Nothing here. Could be different in the desert, but no, nothing here. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check, and this could be biome dependent, I think, whoa, why you vanish? Um, I think lily pads will grow like mushrooms. You'll see them spread. I'm not positive if that's a mechanic in the game. I, I For some reason, that rumor uh, is in my head. Um, but no, nothing there. And I think we tried bone mealing reeds too, didn't we? And it has been confirmed by a lot of people it, uh, that um, reeds... Can we get some different color here? Is that a different shade? Yeah, it's hard to say. Let's try this. Um, what, what biome is this? This is a plains, beach, river, ocean. Okay. We try this. We try this. Uh, I have some dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we got several, several biomes here. So let's do this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I see a difference in color already. Come on now. I thought I did. Didn't I? Yep. You can tell. This is brighter. This is certainly brighter than these. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. It's a gradient. But there is different colors. So that's very cool. Very cool indeed. Great. Confirmed. What else? Um, I guess what we'll do from here is we will now talk about the big thing that's been added into the uh, into the the 1.7 update. Um, it's going to be huge. This is going to be this is going to be big time game changer, especially for builders and whatnot. So uh, we're I'm going to take a little break, set some stuff up, and I'll be right back with you in just a bit. Boop a doop a doo, boop a doop boo, beep 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 beep. Traveling through the little forest, going through the hills, and nothing strange. Everything's normal and everything's fine. Fine. Hello. Check it out. You think? MC edit. Voxel sniper. World edit. What kind of witchcraft is this? It's no witchcraft. It is now possible in Minecraft to make portals just about any size, as long as it's a square or rectangle, right? No circles, nothing like that. Want to keep kind of the idea of a door into hell, which I think is great. And you have the ability now to make any size pretty much uh let's talk we'll talk more about those but check this out look at the things you can do now this is just, i just found this little area just pop a portal right in there that's how you can do your world you don't have to have you no more limits right no more limits really so just boom right in the side of a mountain pow portal awesome the other thing broken the other thing is you used to only be able to light a portal from there, from the bottom. Now, you can light them from anywhere. Uh, what that potentially gives you, a lot of people wanted to have like automatic portal lighters and this and that, because they're pretty noisy. Uh, but now you can light them from any direction and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Um, so here's another thing. Hello. This is the largest portal size you can do right here mm-hmm little diet Pepsi never hurt anybody <laughs> um, 
This is blockwise 23 by 23 square. Um, the inside is 21 by 21. Now, if you go one more over, it doesn't work. Let's do this real quick, just to test. Boom, boom, boom. This will make it just one larger and nothing, right? Follow. You guys understand now why I'm doing this episode in creative because I don't have time to get this much obsidian. But let's see, can you light? No. Can you light here? As long as it's within this that area. Okay, very cool. Uh, so that that's pretty sick, right? Humongo. Huge. Uh, now here's here's what I like about this okay you have the ability to do a lot a lot of cool things with this people one thing that I know people would like to have okay you just go away feathers people would like to have circles circular portals um, but now you kind of have that ability uh, if you're creative enough, you can do that. You're not going to be able to make a circular portal frame. W w one thing I want to note is this is not lagging my game at all. This is a lot of particles being rendered in right now. I imagine if this was all item frames, I would see some sort of lag or frame rate drop. Uh, no lag, so it feels like this is optimized just beautifully. Um, so Dinnerbone, hats off, my brother. Um, but something you could potentially do is make like a circle and that's something I might do off camera just to show you guys what that could potentially look like make a wall put a circle in it um, and then there would just be a circular portal showing the downside of that is you're going to have to make like something like this that's going to cover all of that area you know you know what I mean Come on now. Boy, it's loud as hell though, ain't it? Goodness. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you'd have to you'd have to cover all this up. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. So there's a little bit of limitation, but it ain't terrible. You know what I mean? You could you could cover that up and still get your circle shape and have this circular portal into hell type of thing. Uh, some other ideas. Well, let me show you some more some more things. I saw this in Doc's video. Um, so you can make portals. This is the smallest size, okay? The standard that we know. This is, whoops. That's the smallest you can go. You can't do any smaller than that, as far as I know. Uh-huh, and boom. Yeah, no. It's got to be that. So let's, let's do something like this. Boom, 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 boom. So you can do two portals side by side and this is what happens so you have that and then you do this and what wait a second I thought this is what they did hmm. maybe they changed it maybe I'm wrong um, maybe it's got to be a certain size but I thought Doc Doc M is doing some really good snapshot stuff so be sure to check out his snapshot videos they're very quick, precise, to the point, and it shows all the features and everything. Um, but there was a different type of portal animation. Um, maybe it's... Be hmm. Interesting. Let's turn the sounds down just a little bit more. Uh -huh. Maybe it has to be a huge one? Possibly? Possibly, um, but yeah, this purple goes away, and it just gives like some white particle effects. If they're boom, 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 like that, could be wrong. Could be wrong. Things may be a changing on us. Um, either way, this is cool. You know, it gives some more options. Um, what else? What else now? Um, some ideas that I have. Let's say you're building a wall, right? 
let's say you're building a wall. We're gonna go really, really simple here. But uh, boom, boom. We're gonna build like a simple little design. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um, and let's say you want to go really creative with it. Um, the portal sounds it like let's say you wanted to use it in in a build that you were doing. Um, use it as kind of a decorative piece. You know what I mean? Um, let's get this. Cover that up. Very good. And go like that, that, that. Well, good block place in there, genius. And boop. What? Does it have to be taller than that? Wait a second. That should be allowed. Hmm. What are they changing on me? This is my first time messing with these. There we go, there we go. So look at that now. You've got like this just purple, purple hue all in there, which is cool. So, you know, a lot of people like to use color or something like that. Now, of course, if your build has this, oh, fricker. <laughs> if your build has this as like a feature or a color block, um, it's gonna be loud, so you might want to change the uh, the sound, possibly. But that's pretty cool, you know. You can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, let's see, one, two, three, and really tall could look really cool. Just do a very, very, very tall one. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just a, like a kid in a candy store now. I tell you what, look at that! Come on, like if you have a very tall epic place and have like several of these portals next to each other, that could look so cool. Uh, I mean, it, it, here's the thing, these portals, they're a gateway into hell. The hell of Minecraft. Um. And to be able to make them look really epic and, what would the word be? Uh, not ambient, but like, I don't know, you guys tell me what the word is. What's the word? We'll see. But, they look very ominous. Ominous is the word. They just look, they look very ominous and uh, almost inviting. Like, I want to go through there, but that's going to be scary. Let's do it. And then, and you go through the other side. This is gonna render in the, the hell now. Quartz. You go through the other side. It's gonna make a normal portal for you. Now, if I break this, let's see what happens. If I break this and make this big now, uh huh. Will you take me through to the other side? Same one. You did it. Yes, you did. Great job. So that's so cool. You could also do things like this. All right, all right, let's think now. Let's think build-wise, you bunch of crazy building fools. You put portals off of portals and make other designs from your portals and make like a crazy artwork thing. Uh-huh, right? You follow where I'm going with this. Boom, now all of a sudden, I don't know what that could be. Good thing they're up high like that. But, um, yeah, so many portal options now, guys. Come on, this is freaking sick. What else did I want to do with portals, I think? Oh, right. So, in my Minecraft video that I did, I did something like this. What is this? Well, he here's the huge benefit from this is that we now have odd numbers. A lot of buildings are on the odd, right? Um, you don't really want to build on even numbers. It's not a good idea. So having portals now that go odd is great. That, uh, that helps out a lot. But I had this question. I was wondering, can you do this where they intersect? People have been tweeting me lately saying, B-dubs, you can do it. 
I want to see, can you do it, and what happens? So we do that. There's one. Aha, uh -huh. is there a trick to this? Or maybe they fixed it. People were saying, bug. It's a bug. Hey, chicken. <laughs> Get Kentucky Fried, baby. Oh, you're in the nether now. You'll burn there, too. Uh, so maybe there's a trick to this. Or maybe it's fixed, but people were showing that this was possible. Um, what about like a so? No, nothing. Hmm. Maybe there's a trick. I was seeing pictures of this being a possibility, and then you have this little corner that you can go into. Um, Design-wise, eh. Not if they fixed it, I'm. It's not going to bother me much. Um, I don't think it's very necessary. Now that we can just do all these different sizes, I think that's um, that's good enough, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, there you go. Portals. Portals is decoration. Portals is different shapes. Portals at different sizes. It's going to be cool, man. It's going to be cool. Also, um... There's some very technical things you can do with these portals. If you check Doc M's channel, you can see in one of his latest videos he did a new type of uh, a new type of farm with the hu humongous he was calling them mega portals. So a lot of cool things you can do with this stuff. A lot of I, I guarantee you're gonna see these like servers like Mithrinchia and the build servers and stuff, they're going to come up with some very, very cool designs and ideas with these portals. So I suggest you stay tuned. I think these, these are going to be pretty epic down the road. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of The Peep Show. Keep sending over your ideas if you have some. Um, all of the ideas I used here, I replied to the people on Twitter letting them know going to try it out. So uh, shoot me a message over there and uh, we'll be glad to check it out if there's something you want to see. Until then, hope you guys enjoyed. We'd love to see some of your guys' ideas with portals, some of your designs, which you might come up with. And we'll see you all in the next episode.